Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the SwitchBot remote. Now, if you've been around on this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a big fan of SwitchBot as a company. And there's a whole variety of reasons for this beyond them just making really good products. And a big part of it is that what they tend to make is affordable products that allow you to upgrade your existing home devices to become smart. This, of course, works out cheaper for you as the user, but also reduces waste because you're not having to buy completely new products. You're just upgrading the things you've already got. And SwitchBot make a whole variety of products. And this product range has expanded over the last few years. They make everything from smart lights to curtain controls to humidifiers, and I know there's a load more products in the works as well. Now today I want to talk about one of their accessories which works with their smart home devices, and this is the SwitchBot remote. And this little device costs just £20 and is aimed as a way of controlling your devices with a button. It's compatible with the SwitchBot button pushers, their lights, their curtains and their smart plugs. And so let's start off by talking about the design, because the design of this is really nice and small and modern looking. It's a relatively thin, small white box. It's got quite nice rounded edges and it's got two buttons on the front of it. There's also an indicator light. The two buttons are slightly different in feel, which means you can feel the difference between the buttons and you don't have to look at it to know which button you're pressing. In terms of spec, it connects via Bluetooth and has a battery inside it already. SwitchBot say that battery life is up to 600 days, and of course there's no way of testing that in a review. What I will say, however, is that this is largely going to depend on how much you use it, and so a lot of use is obviously going to bring down that battery life, and less use might extend it. Setting it up, as with most of SwitchBot products, is nice and easy. When you first get it, you just pull the tab out the back to activate the battery, and then go into the SwitchBot app, and it's just floating at the top. If it doesn't appear, then you can scroll down and select your device, and then it'll talk you through the process of getting it to pair. Once it's set up, you can control what you want the buttons to do, and you can program each button independently. For most users, however, it's gonna make sense to program these with a kind of on-off situation. For example, up opens your curtains and down closes your curtains. You can also hook it up to a scene if you want to. Once set up, I've found that this button pusher works well every single time, and the sticky pad included in the box means that you can stick it to your wall or whatever it is that you want to. And that's it. This is a great little accessory for your SwitchBot products, especially if you like to have guests over and you want to allow them to easily control your curtains or lights or whatever the button's hooked up to. This has the advantage that you don't need to grant your guests access to your smart home. You can just tell them how to use the button. If you guys want to pick one up, I have put a link below to the SwitchBot website along with a discount code for you. I've also put a link to buy it on Amazon. Both of those links are affiliate links, which means that if you purchase three of those links, it does help this channel out. However, as with anything I review on this channel, it's an independent review and it's my honest thoughts. In complete transparency with you guys, SwitchBot did send me this product to review. However, as I say to every single company I work with, I will always bring an honest review and I will not say nice things just because they ask me to or send me something. Luckily for SwitchBot, this is actually a really good product. If you guys have got any questions, do stick them below and I'll try and answer them. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys again soon.